Have you ever wondered what would happen if the sun's magnetic field flipped? Let's journey back to a morning in 1859. A British astronomer named Richard Carrington witnessed a startling sight, an intense flash of light on the sun. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary event that would become known as the Carrington Event. This was not just a light show. The sun, in its fiery dance, spewed out a colossal wave of charged particles towards our planet. The Earth's magnetic field, usually our protective shield, was severely disrupted. Telegraph systems worldwide went berserk, some even catching fire. Auroras, usually confined to the poles, painted the night skies as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. This dramatic event was a stark reminder of our vulnerability to the sun's immense power, a power that continues to shape our world and the vast cosmos we are a part of. But how does the sun exert such influence over our planet, you may wonder? Well, the answer lies in the mesmerizing dance of solar cycles. Just like Earth has its cycles from the changing seasons to the ebb and flow of tides, our sun too has its rhythm, known as the solar cycle, which averages around 11 years. During these cycles, the sun showcases a fascinating display of cosmic ballet, involving sunspot activity, magnetic field reversals, and changes in solar activity. Sunspots, those dark patches we occasionally spot on the sun's surface, are like the freckles of our star, indicating areas of intense magnetic activity. Their number and location change over time, following a pattern that scientists have been observing for centuries. At the start of a cycle, sunspots appear near the sun's poles, gradually moving towards the equator as the cycle progresses. This movement is so predictable that it's visualized in a graph called the butterfly diagram, named for its wing-like appearance. Now let's talk about the sun's magnetic flip. Just like a giant celestial magnet, the sun's magnetic field undergoes a polarity reversal during each solar cycle. Imagine the north and south poles swapping places. This magnetic flip-flop occurs due to the sun's differential rotation, where its equator rotates faster than its poles, causing the magnetic field lines to twist and tangle. And then there's the fluctuation in solar activity. It's not always the same, varying in intensity and duration, with cycles ranging from 9 to 14 years. We've seen periods of extreme quiet, like the Maunder Minimum, and periods of heightened activity, like the Modern Maximum. These fluctuations have been a part of the Sun's story for billions of years, and they continue to captivate us. These cycles are not just cosmic phenomena, they hold significant implications for life on Earth. From influencing our climate to shaping the dazzling display of auroras, and from affecting our technology to safeguarding astronauts on daring space missions, the dance of solar cycles is a testament to the mighty power and influence of our sun, the star at the heart of our solar system. One of the most mesmerizing aspects of these cycles is the sun's magnetic field reversal. A phenomenon that's almost as perplexing as it is fascinating, the sun's magnetic field flips its orientation approximately every 11 years. That's right, the sun's magnetic north and south switch places, creating a ripple effect that extends far beyond its blazing surface. This polarity reversal is a part of the sun's natural rhythm, a cosmic heartbeat that echoes through the solar system. But why does this happen? The answer lies in the sun's core where its magnetic field originates. The Sun, much like Earth, has a dynamo, an incredibly powerful magnetic field generator. This dynamo is driven by the Sun's rapid differential rotation, which means different parts of the Sun rotate at different speeds. Imagine a pot of honey. If you stir the honey quickly in the middle but slowly on the edges, the honey will twist and turn, creating intricate patterns. Now replace the honey with the Sun's plasma, and you get a similar effect. The sun's equator rotates faster than its poles, causing the solar plasma to twist and tangle, creating complex magnetic field lines. Over time, these twisted field lines become unstable and like a rubber band stretched too far, they snap and reorganize themselves, leading to a polarity reversal. This process is known as a magnetic field reconnection, but the sun's magnetic field doesn't flip instantly. It's a gradual process that begins at the solar maximum, when sunspot activity is at its peak. Over the course of several months, new magnetic fields form that are oriented in the opposite direction. As the old magnetic fields decay and the new ones grow, the overall field flips. This cosmic dance of magnetic fields is not just a solar spectacle, it directly impacts our lives here on Earth. 
from sparking vivid auroras to shaping our planet's climate and even posing potential risks to our technology and space missions, the sun's polarity reversal reminds us of our intricate connection with the cosmos. Now let's bring this cosmic story closer to our time. We're currently in the midst of Solar Cycle 25, a cycle that's proving to be a bit of an anomaly. Not only is it more intense than anticipated, but it's also peaking ahead of schedule. This early arrival is causing quite a stir in the scientific community and beyond. You see, the sun's activity is not as consistent as you might think. It ebbs and flows like the tide over an average of 11 years. But Cycle 25 has decided to defy the norm and put on a show ahead of time. And by show, I mean a surge in solar flares, particularly the powerful X-Class flares. These flares are not just spectacular to observe, they're also incredibly impactful. When the sun spits out a flare, it's actually ejecting a burst of radiation into space. If Earth is in the line of fire, this radiation can wreak havoc on our planet's magnetic field, potentially disrupting communications and satellite operations. Now you might be wondering, why should I care about satellites? Well, satellites are integral to many aspects of our modern life. They help us predict weather, navigate our world, communicate across vast distances, and even stream our favorite shows. So a surge in solar flares could mean disruptions to these everyday conveniences. Furthermore, these flares pose a significant risk to astronauts aboard the International Space Station and those on the upcoming Artemis mission to the moon. The radiation from these flares can potentially damage the electronic systems of spacecraft and pose health risks to astronauts. But it's not all doom and gloom. Increased solar activity also has its benefits. For one, it creates a protective shield against cosmic rays, which can be harmful to both electronic systems and human health. In essence, the sun giveth, and the sun taketh away. As we brace ourselves for this premature solar maximum, we must also consider its broader implications. Our understanding of these solar cycles and their impacts will shape how we prepare for and respond to these cosmic events in the future, whether it's protecting our technology or safeguarding our brave space explorers. You might be wondering, what does all this mean for us on Earth and our ventures into space? Well, let's dive into the sun's influence on Earth's climate and its potential impact on space missions. Sunspots, solar flares, and other solar phenomena play a vital role in Earth's climate. Solar activity influences the amount of solar radiation reaching our planet. During periods of high solar activity, Earth receives more solar radiation, causing slight warming. In contrast, during periods of low solar activity, such as the Maunder Minimum in the 17th century, Earth receives less solar radiation, leading to cooling periods. However, this solar influence is just one piece of the complex puzzle that is Earth's climate. Human activities, particularly the emission of greenhouse gases, are the primary drivers of the current global warming trend. On the other side of the coin, solar activity bears significant implications for space missions. High solar activity can pose risks to astronauts and spacecraft. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, for instance, can damage satellite electronics and pose radiation hazards for astronauts, as we're seeing with the Artemis mission to the moon. But it's not all gloom and doom. High solar activity also has a protective effect. It shields our solar system from cosmic rays, high energy particles from deep space. During periods of high solar activity, the sun's enhanced magnetic field and solar wind deflect more cosmic rays, reducing their reach to Earth and our astronauts in space. So, you see, the sun's activity is a double-edged sword. It poses challenges but also offers protection. It's a delicate and complex dance between Earth, the sun, and the cosmos. As we navigate this era of increased solar activity, understanding these cycles becomes crucial. By studying the sun's behavior, we can not only better predict solar events, but also prepare for their impacts, ensuring the safety of our planet and our explorers venturing into the vastness of space. Yet, amidst these challenges, the solar maximum brings its own cosmic spectacle. As the sun's activity peaks, a breathtaking phenomenon unfolds in the Earth's polar regions, the auroras. These dazzling light shows are a result of charged particles from the sun colliding with atoms in our planet's atmosphere. Imagine hues of green, pink, yellow, blue, and violet painting the sky in a mesmerizing dance, a vivid reminder of the sun's influence on our world. But beyond their captivating beauty, auroras serve as a visual testament to our intimate connection with the cosmos. 
They are a stark illustration of how the sun's cycles and Earth's magnetic field interact, creating a symphony of color and light. As we stand in awe of these celestial displays, we are reminded of our place in the vast universe and the cosmic forces that shape our existence.